uh, we got to catch up, Doug. I think so. You got off a plane from uh, where? Oh, from Lincoln, Nebraska. And I just drove down from Edmonton <laughs> and, and, and we're late. Yep. It's been a long day, but this is a good way to end it. <laughs> hey, there's Ted. How are you doing? Oh, hey! hey. <laughs> Whoa, what is this beast? That is a pretty sweet machine. Ted, this is quite an event. Yeah, this is awesome, eh? The Urban Assault, you know, it's something that just started on a whim, Doug. There's an RC uh, channel on YouTube, Urban RCLA, and they did some urban stuff. And I used to do some urban off-road on mountain bikes. Yeah. So that's how I got the idea. I was like, you know what? Let's get a group of people together and we'll go downtown. You can imagine a lot of people thought that's going to be kind of dumb, right? I remember uh, Terry, TRCC, he said, you know, as long as more than half a dozen of us show up, we won't look too bad, right? Oh, yeah. But it was super cool. I think we started with 13 trucks and uh, our biggest numbers have been over 70 on a warm summer. We've, wow. you know, we've had over 70 RC vehicles making this trek through downtown Calgary. It's, you know, it's a good eight, nine kilometer trek. It's, it's no joke. So for a rainy day, 50 is pretty good. For a rainy day, 50 is really good. Yeah, exactly. It's true. This is the biggest thing I've ever seen on an urban assault, man. Check that out. That is wow. crazy. <laughs> you could haul small children. Wow, oh, that's awesome. Curtis, this is quite a rig, man. Thank you. This is beautiful. How many hours you got in that? Over 500 in yeah. the whole setup. It's wow. been three years in the progress. I built it to haul my two-year-old son for walks, daddy's son walks. Yep. The wagon's 70 pounds empty. So when I throw my son in there, it's 100 pounds I'm towing. Wow. I started off with the original six by six, and then I kept breaking the middle diff and trial and error. So I just finished this at 6.30 this morning. Oh, wow. Uh, building an eight wheel uh, summit, six wheel steer, all four locking diffs, high gear, low gear, dual mambas. Wow, 500 hours, huh? It doesn't like to torque, and then there's a spring loaded hitch to take that torque out when you're driving. Oh, so when right. you first get going, it takes that tension out of the gears, and then it spring loads, and then there's just a stopper chain. That's amazing. That's what was really taking out my middle disc was that first initial get going. So those lights and stuff that you have on there, those are like a full size vehicles. It's a trailer light, LED trailer light. And then I got an LED flasher with 10 programs. Nice. How much power can you get like through the whole night with it? Um, well, I'm running an old 6,000 milliamp three cell. Okay. So I can get, you know, six, eight hours out of one battery easy. For the front tires, the front two steer the same direction, the rear's opposite, and I can pretty much zero point turn. <laughs> Looks like a snake. It has all locking diffs so I can crawl upstairs like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. So the locking diff is selectable? Selectable locking diff. I got the front two on a switch and then the rear two on a switch. It's just locking for climbing and yeah. crawling, but I never run locked when I tow. I usually run three cell just because those mumbas are so torquey. Yep. But right now I'm running four cell. Uh, I'd never dare running anything more. Like four cell is way too much power. Oh, it's very nice. Hey, it looks like the rain stopped. It uh, looks like it's time to hit the trail again. Okay, thank you, you for the interview. Hey, thank you. Thank you. So Chris, why do you come to the Urban Assault? Uh, it's a great place to meet guys and talk shop about RC. Yeah, seems to be kind of the common answer. <laughs> oh yeah, a lot of cool rigs out there. Yeah, for sure. Tell me a bit about yours. Uh, it's a TF2. I wrapped it in camo. I like camo. Yeah. I'm the guy that does the camo trophy RC expeditions. Oh, okay, okay. Camper's custom built out of uh, styrene. And then the trailer is custom built out of styrene too. So what kind of axle do you have underneath the trailer there? Uh, it's a Team Rafiko trailer and you can buy it and you just, I just mounted the styrene oh. to it. This is my first urban assault. Do you, how do you find like passers-by? Like, what are their, their reactions? Oh, everybody loves it. Yeah. Yeah, when we get down to uh, Electric Ave there, like, people stop, take pictures, and they'll yeah. want pictures with the rigs and everything. Nice. Side pops out here, another sleeping compartment. This goes up, back opens up for stairs. So did, did you do all the canvas work and everything too? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that is so awesome. Yeah, all built just from styrene sheets. No, that's some workmanship. I like your weathering on it too. It's actually pretty easy to do. It's just coats of paint and then you just sand through, just, right? Just sand it off, yeah. Back 
that's cool. So Ted, what goes on here? This is a pretty cool place. Well, this is uh, the Millennium Skate Park here in Calgary, Alberta. Uh, pretty pretty kick-ass skate park, right? Yeah. And uh, so we, we stop here on Urban Assaults. It's a pit stop for repairs to fix your truck. And a lot of people pack another RC, a slash or, or whatever it may be, to play around in the skate park. Now if you come down the side of it, you can yeah. ride it all the way until you lose the rail. Yeah. All sidewall. Anytime you can find a good line. Oh yeah. I think it's done. Yeah, it's done. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. It's on the front wheel. Oh! Oh! <laughs> There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Teamwork. This is the RC four wheel drive Galande 2 Defender 110. Nice. Beautiful kit. I had a lot of fun. Re a lot of fun building this. It took probably about two hours for the chassis and the electronics and everything. Yeah. And that body, I got it finished in about two months. But I wanted a lot to, of work. Oh, I wanted to do a lot with it too. Because it is so unique, uh, and as, as far as I know, within Calgary itself, should still be the only running one. Really? I believe so. So it's, it's a hard shell body. Yes, it is. Right? So I imagine you're very careful not to roll it. I don't want to roll it. No. Uh, it got some scratches in it. Uh, I'm in the competition. The um, Sponsored by RC Four Wheel Drive and Asia Tees, the Super Scale Series all summer. Yeah. Um, I built that specifically for this, and uh, I was very careful in the in the first couple of rounds not to scratch it up. But as you can see, it's got its beauty marks now. So yeah. It's, hey, you uh, know what? Every truck needs a little bit. It does. Its character is what it is. Yep. Yep. Uh, the body itself is actually handmade by RC Four Wheel Drive because it wow. is such a new kit. Uh, they took two D90s, split them in half, and made it into the D110 long wheelbase. Nice. Nice. Yep. Runs on a two-cell... Uh, I've got it running on a two-cell battery, AE5-speed controller. Yep. Uh, RC four-wheel drive, 35-turn crawler motor, and uh, high-tech waterproof servo. Nice. Yep. Nice. Not the stock rims on it. I chose to go with Energy for the looks themselves. Oh, they're beautiful, too. Yeah, very beautiful. And uh, underneath it basically looks like your regular D110, except with a much longer wheelbase. One thing that I found so far, the links. The lower links are so long. Yeah. So uh, eventually I will be uh, relocating those and shortening them up to give myself a little bit more room. A little bit better clearance. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Very cool. Well, hey, thank you so much for showing us. No problem. Really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem very, at all. Very, very nice. So Ted, how many times a year do you guys come down here? So there's a Christmas, there's a spring. Stampede is the favorite one because of the amount of people that we come across. It's usually um, warm. <laughs> yeah, and we'll do one into the fall. We do a Halloween get together and run, sometimes an urban assault, sometimes its own separate thing. Yeah. You know, yeah, so we do it lots. you how many summits are in here which part <laughs> in it, all of it in all of it three and a half three and a half okay so basically there's three transmissions probably 20 servos there's 14 steering servos two wow. tranny servos four diff servos lots of servos and electronics and wire crane totally works and the boom comes in and out and then there's even an extension part if I want to even go out more a jib That's cool. Well, that was.
was a look at the uh, 2016 Urban Assault held during the Calgary Stampede. Um, had a lot of great fun, met a lot of great people, saw a lot of great rigs. <sighs> had a lot of fun. <laughs> it's my first time here, but uh, we're going to see more. A uh, lot of the lights on a lot of the rigs are just starting to come out now. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave you with that. We'll see you next time, and thanks for watching.